something a little different today. I'm going to review Shine Armor's Fortify Quick Coat product. Uh, I'm not much of a car wash guy, but I have been a little bit obsessed with car detailing videos lately, so I thought they'd give this a shot. Plus, I've been meaning to review my own car for probably a year and a half now, and this is just a good excuse to get it clean so that I can actually film it for a full review. So maybe this was a bit naive, but I assumed I could just spray this onto my car and then hose it off and be done, just like soap. But that's not how this works at all. In fact, this stuff isn't something you want to get on your skin, so I'd suggest putting on some gloves before you apply it to your vehicle. The bottle does come with a spray nozzle, which is nice, and it has a locking mechanism, which is great. Uh, and the tube on the spray nozzle is actually super long, which is good, because that means you can get every last drop out of the bottle, which is fantastic because this is not a cheap product. It's uh, 20 bucks for 6.4 ounces, and you will use the entire bottle for one wash. All right, so here's how it works. You take a wet microfiber cloth and spray the product on there. You also spray the product onto your vehicle. And it's easy to see because it's a nice purple color. It also has kind of a cherry smell, which makes the whole process kind of enjoyable. Wipe the product off with the wet microfiber cloth. And then you want to wick the entire product away and off your car with a second dry microfiber cloth. It's not a quick process because you're using two separate cloths and you got to pick up and put down that bottle to apply it every time. Uh, but you get used to it and you get kind of into a nice rhythm uh, while you're cleaning the vehicle, which I kind of enjoyed. It also works on all surfaces, so you don't have to be careful where you spray it. Uh, it works on paint, plastic, chrome, and glass. Although where I really noticed the most difference was on the glass of my vehicle. It had a noticeable better shine to it when I was done. And that shiny, glossy look actually stays placed for, I'd say, about a week afterwards. After that, it kind of deteriorates. But during that week, even though it's raining or you're driving this thing around, it, it still retains that glossy look, which I was pretty impressed with. But that wasn't really true of the um, exterior paint of my vehicle. I didn't notice a noticeable change after I applied the product. And the same is true for the interior. I tried cleaning the steering wheel and also the interior door panel of the driver's side. And although it looked cleaner, probably because it was super filthy before, um, I, didn't, I didn't get that same sort of shiny effect that I was looking for. But all in all, this was a super fun experience, and I'm glad Shine Armor was kind enough to send me a uh, product to test out. But if I'm going to be honest, since this is a review, I don't see myself buying this again. I'm not much of a car cleaning guy. I might love those detailing videos on YouTube, but... I just clean my car when it's dirty, and I have no problem just taking it to a $2 car wash just to get the mud off. That's me, though. If you're interested in maybe taking things to another level, I think this would be a fun experience to try. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try it out. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching. I hope you join me next time when I'm back with a full rental car review. And if you have a different opinion of this product than me, please leave me a comment below. I would love to chat about it. I am not claiming to be an expert on cleaning vehicles. Just kind of doing this for fun, so if you can educate me a little bit, I would seriously appreciate it. Alright, that's it for now. I'll catch you next time.